Good morning. It's really early. Sort of, it's like 8.20. It's early for me. Uh, you can't really tell because this place has no freaking windows. Besides this tiny thing that does nothing. But it's early and it's kind of dark because, you know, it's winter. And we're up today because we're going to Niagara Falls. And that means we have to go from here. We have to take the subway to Union Station, which is the main station in Toronto. And then from there we're taking a train to like some random city that's halfway there and then we have to switch to a bus. So let's go. Well, we're off to a great start. Keith nearly forgot his phone, wallet, airpods, glasses. But I didn't because we didn't even we're not even outside yet. Yeah, but you're so putting you didn't on forget them. Putting on your jacket and your hat and that was a close call. Falls apparently. I wasn't expecting such a weird little town set up here. It's like kind of like a fake town if that makes sense. There's basically casinos and chain restaurants everywhere and it's kind of like off-putting and then when you get out of this strip it's like rundown houses and that. Sally said it was like a rundown lame Vegas and it's kind of like that. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't call it rundown, it's not rundown, it's probably just because it's quiet right now because nobody's out here but yeah it just runs over like a lame vegas with a big old waterfall somewhere guys look how big this elevator is like it goes all the way here all right this is our hotel we're staying at the embassy, embassy suites by the hilton so you come in and oh. tv mini bar what it's not free vending machine tokens they Charge you three dollars for each one you use. Aww. I'll give you free vending machine tokens. And then bathroom here. And then you walk through. And bed. Another TV. Ooh, this is a nice little vanity thing. And then the best part. Da da da. Oh. It's Niagara Falls. You impressed? Yeah. Pretty <laughs> impressive. <laughs> they light it up at night and stuff. I kind of wish we were in the room like next door. So you get a slight better angle. It's not bad. They could clean the windows. Yeah. It's alright though. Cool. Try to set up the camera so that like you could see the falls in the background but the lighting was terrible, it was all backlit and stuff. But I just wanted to talk about um, this like awesome deal that our friends showed us in this place because this room cost $150, I think it was Canadian with tax and everything. By the way, I hate how Canadians don't include tax on stuff, it's really annoying. But this like, this location is prime, like we're so close to everything we need to do, we can walk anywhere, this sounds so like fake. <laughs> But I just I don't know. I thought it was a really good deal. Like this place had breakfast. We get um, I'm just reading the like sheet thing they gave us. We get a free drink each up on the like bar thing they have up here. And apparently there's like this awesome panoramic view. So we'll definitely check that out. Get vouchers for a few different restaurants, which we looked at, and it basically pays for one person at each thing. We have. Uh, a coupon for the casino, $25 each, it's pretty good. This pass to like this thing called the fun zone. I don't know, I think it's really lame. <laughs> All these other vouchers for other um, other restaurants and stuff. So free wine tours and tastings, but I think these, these are all on Niagara on the Lake, which is this, meant to be this like amazingly cute little town, but it's, it's a 20 minute drive from here, but we don't have a car and uh, by public transport it's way too hard to get to, so probably not going to do those. 
And we have gondola rides. I think it's a gondola or a little train thing. No, yeah, it's a gondola. It's a gondola. <laughs> yeah, sounds fun. Very underwhelming. That was the incline thing that we got for free. I thought it was gonna be something really cool. Yeah, I thought you'd have a cool view and stuff. It literally just took you down the hill. Guess we don't have to go down the hill or walk up the hill again, but very underwhelming. Don't pay for it. Making us walk through a shop to get to the waterfall. That guy's not creepy at all. Don't worry, we'll see our waterfall eventually, I think. Can't really see it too well because it's so misty. That that's Niagara Falls. It's actually raining right here. It's raining nowhere else but here. But it's not rain, it's mist from the waterfall. From the hotel it looks so small, but I don't know. It certainly isn't small when you're here now. This is a shame it's so damn misty. <laughs> that's the bridge. This thing, that's Rainbow Bridge. That's how you can cross to the US. Yeah, over there's America. Canada. America. Chocolate maple cream filled. Not worth it. What does it look like? Like all Canadian chocolate, it's really bad chocolate. Mm. You know, it tastes like no maple in it. I got tourist trapped. Oh well. An appropriately sized chair for Keith. It's so dirty, I don't want to sit on it. You can't really tell, but it's huge. <laughs> don't know why I want to vlog this, but I tried one of these coffee machines in Vancouver. It seems to be the coffee machines that they give you in hotels. You put like this little, call it a pod, it's like a disc with like coffee in it, probably like a filter coffee. And you like. Great film. I'll try to not look through the camera. And then you like put your cup in. And then where's underneath the one. Underneath the one. Where's the on button? Up. Right here on the side. And you like make coffee with this. And what happened when I was in Vancouver when I was making this was you can actually tell it's not very dark the coffee it comes out in like this clear brownie color and it had no flavor and I have no freaking idea how people drink it I'm like I just don't know if I had a bad machine there but what I'm used to in hotels back home is instant coffee because I feel like it's cheaper and easier to make for a hotel and it's not half bad instant coffee it will do in a pinch, but this filter crap is just ridiculous. It's gonna be undrinkable. They have a passion for coffee since 1963. And I think if they had a passion for coffee, they wouldn't make this crap. You can actually see it now. Look how clear it is. How can you call that coffee? And this is the coffee. It smells like coffee flavored water. Ah. It tastes like somebody watered down coffee. Let me try. Mm. Yeah, I know, right? Mm. And there's Niagara Falls at night when it's all lit up. It's not a very good view from up here actually because it's too misty. There's a better view when we're out for dinner, but we didn't have the camera on us. So before we went to dinner, we went to the casino and because we had those um, $25 vouchers each. And I won $55. <laughs> so 
So I turned those, the fake money from the vouchers into real money. I won once and immediately cashed out because that's how I gamble. <laughs> Hello everyone, gonna make it quick. We are at the Hockey Hall of Fame today. Take it out. One Stanley Cup. That's what you win if you win the hockey finals. You get to pick up every time. When they run out of the Right there. Chicago Blackhawks and here yeah. Chicago Blackhawks and here yeah. Chicago Blackhawks President's Trophy if you're at the top of the ladder they call it the ladder, the table, top of the standings at the end of the season current champions are Tampa Bay Rocket Richard Trophy held by Alexander Ovechkin obviously for the most goals. This guy's the trophy for the <clears throat> Western Conference champions. Funny thing is when they win this trophy, nobody touches it because everyone's really scared that it's gonna jinx them to win the Stanley Cup. The Mark Ross trophy for the leading point getter of the season. 2015-2016 Patrick Kane. Here we are in Lord Stanley's vault, which where they take the rings off the Stanley Cup when they're getting it too big and they put it in. As you can see, like the cup sort of built up. When you looked at it, it was sort of built in tears. Kind of like a big cake, like a wedding cake. And when it gets too big, they take one off and bring it in here and they store it because on the cup, it has um, everyone's name and everything on it. Here's the wall of Stanley Cup rings. This is what the players and the organization get when they win it. is a novice. <laughs> it's a very scary lighting, that's what it's called. It's a... It's Irish cream liqueur and hot chocolate. So creepy. It's delicious. It's delicious. It's creamy. Say where we are. Oh, we're at the Christmas market. <laughs> 
We got here a little bit earlier than my friends because it's free entry from six, before 6 p.m. So we got here right before. So really cheap like that. Save $16. <laughs> so and now we're just waiting. So we just got some drinks. In this, down in the distillery district. Yeah, we're in the distillery district. Okay, now that it's actually like past 6 p.m., this Christmas market's really ramped up. There's so many more people here now. Um, cool. Not as cool as the ones in Germany, obviously. But you know, it's pretty cool. You have to see what there is here though. Uh, we're just trying to meet up with Sally's friends and we're trying to find a big Christmas tree. I don't know where the Christmas tree is. It's really, really busy here all of a sudden. Seems to be like the main square area. That's kind of funky. This is also the distillery district. It's sort of not really Christmassy. time we tried so hard to not get poutine until we went to Montreal but it's so cold and we're hungry and poutine just sounds so good right now look at the scariest ferris wheel in the world this is the scariest ferris wheel in the world it actually is it's going so fast <laughs> there's people on that too but anyways we got poutine how is it it's chips and gravy chips and gravy our Canadian friends are mad that we're calling it chips and gravy. <laughs> just got back from the Christmas market and I don't know how we're going to be doing this editing for these Toronto vlogs vlog thing because it's kind of all over the place but this is going to be the last of our Toronto adventures because it's Friday and then on Sunday we're heading off to Montreal. So we'll see you guys in Montreal. Thanks for watching. Bye!